Yeah, um, well, first of all, I just want to thank uh, each and every one of you for, you know, respecting me, my teammates, and my family uh, throughout the process. Um, I know it was tough, you know, not getting all the information. Um, and, I mean, uh, along those lines, you know, we, we can't really talk about the specifics of the injury still, um, but I'm just happy to be out there playing again. feels great playing with my teammates again, helping uh, win in any way that I can. Good question for him, right? Keep going. Did you hear any criticism at all that hey, maybe you should be out there? And how do you respond to that? I mean, yeah, I did. But like I said, I know it was tough not getting all the information. Um, so, I mean, we still have the, the greatest fans in the, in, the, in the country. So, I mean, I'm not really worried about that, you know. Um, as a fan, you know, you want to see everybody out there playing. So, um, I respect the fans. I respect everyone. Where do you feel now in the process of getting back up to speed? I feel pretty good, you know. I'm still working uh, each and every day to, to, you know, get back to 100%, get my get my win back and everything like that, get the rhythm back. Um, my teammates and coaches are doing a good job of pushing me every day in practice. Did you ever a point you thought you had to come back? I really did. I wasn't thinking that way the whole time. I was thinking positive. Um, you know, that's what I came back uh, for my senior year for, to, you know, playing games and things like that. So, I mean, I was, like I said, I tried to stay positive throughout the whole process. And to go off of that, the, the thought, there was certainly an option to just shut it down, see what happens, you know, once you get to the spring with the draft and all that. Where where did that kind of play in your decision making? I mean, I tried not to think about that too much. I really focused on getting better each and every day. I didn't try to look too too much, too far into the future. Um, just tried to stay in the present, get better every day, you know. Um, right now I'm to a point where I'm starting to be able to play games again, so I'm happy about that. Yeah, this is a bit of a relief at some point just watching the teammates and doing Yeah, it definitely is. You know, the Maryland game was huge. Last game was huge. Um, I think each and every day, you know, we're growing as a team more. Um, and I think we're growing in the right ways and the, uh, the right time of the year. You know, it's good to peak around this time of the year. Um, so it's good to see us winning games right now. Was there, was there a point before you came back that you maybe a couple weeks ago or what, that you thought you might be back and there were any setbacks along the way? We've been fortunate enough, you know, not to have had any setbacks uh, so far. Um, but like I said, we're working each and every day. Um, but like I said, Alex, Alex Wong, our trainer, has done a great job with me, uh, pushing me each and every day, knowing my limitations and things like that. The reason not to say the injury, is that because of the draft uh, and the game, you don't want to give them information? Or what's the hesitation in the past with other injuries you mentioned? Um, you know, just as a program, uh, Coach B, uh, my mom, Alex Wong, you know, we just came together and we thought that was the best decision, you know, not to give out um, too much information about it. Can you be the player that you've been? Yeah, I would hope so. Uh, we'll see. You know, um, I've been trying to push myself every day in practice uh, to get there. You didn't seem very aggressive to shoot the ball and want to pass the ball the other day. Was that just because you haven't been in a game flow, or is that just what you saw in that game? Uh, you know, just a combination of things. You know, I haven't played in about six weeks. Um, you know, I was a little nervous getting back out there. Um, um, and just game flow. You know, I really don't have a, a great rhythm right now, but it, it's coming back to me. John said you were a little bit wobbly when you came out at halftime. Did, did you feel that? Did you feel the fatigue setting in pretty quickly after that first half? Yeah, I think so. Um, Duncan got in a little bit of foul trouble, so I was out there a little bit longer than I expected. Um, and like I said, my win's not on the way back, but it felt good being out there. How do you feel days or hours after after that? How did you feel so uh, I mean, pretty good. It's obviously um, it's normal to have a little bit of soreness after. You know, not playing for that long, um, but I feel good. Terrence, going to the timetable return, John had mentioned a couple times, like he used the word soon. He said, you know, that he hoped that he'd come back in a couple weeks. I'm just curious, was, was this information, was this from doctors saying that, okay, he can be back soon or he can be back in a couple weeks? Was this from you? Where was, where was all the return? Who had the call, I guess, mostly? Was this from you or was this based on doctor information as well? It was a combination, um, you know, of a lot of things. You know, the doctors obviously played a huge role in that. Um, and then Coach B and myself, we didn't want to, you know, throw me out there before I was really ready to play, before I was uh, comfortable, you know, I had my win back. How long have you felt what you feel able to play? Uh, you know, the past couple of days, uh, I mean, I told Coach whenever, uh, whenever I felt like I could play, just, you know, I was going to try it. So. I mean, I'm still trying to get there each and every day, but um, I wouldn't say that I'm all the way, you know, all the way back, but I'm working there each and every day. Is there a concern that this will be something that lasts the rest of the season? Hopefully not. 
Um, we're trying to, you know, work it out right now. Uh, I think there's enough time left um, for that. I'll, I'll hopefully be back to my normal self before the end of the season. Over. You're going home tomorrow, obviously, so you got to be smart and not let your emotions get the better of you and play maybe more minutes when you're ready. Yeah, definitely. You know, that'll be an exciting game. Um, wherever coach sees me, you know, I'll, I'll go in there, whether that's limited minutes, no minutes at all, a lot of minutes, whatever it needs me. Yeah, I mean, that's the plan every day, you know, plan to wake up um, and give it my all. You know, if that doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. With, the, with how, how well the backcourt has played, how well the ball moves, without you, how do you balance getting back as, as a centerpiece of offense with, you know, letting them keep the rhythm and establishing the game? You know, it's kind of tough because, uh, like you said, Muhammad, Muhammad and Deere have a great rhythm right now. Um, so right now, I mean, I'm just trying to come in, give those guys a rest, um, and not skip a beat while I'm in there. I remember back – Purdue road game. I think you went through a shoot around that day. That was over a month ago. Um, and John said, you know, kind of game time decision. Have, have there been, has there been any setbacks since then? No, I wouldn't say uh, any setbacks, you know. Um, I think we're progressing like each and every week. Um, so some things may be too much. Some things, you know, we can ratchet up a little bit. But um, I, like I said, Alex has done a great job with me, you know, um, just knowing my limitations and things like that. Was that we in the saw you like with a walking boot or any anything like that? So there was no like procedure done. It was simply just a, a rest only recovery. Yeah, that's correct. There was no procedure. Was the Indiana Michigan State week maybe the hardest stretch to have to sit out? Yeah, it was. It was definitely really hard for me. You know, I I would have really loved to play in, in those games as well as the other games too, uh, but I just wasn't ready yet. Was there any game? point where you said before you came in? Was there any point that you said you were ready? Told your coach you were ready to go? I don't think so. Um, I think the practices leading up to the uh, to the, per, per the to the Purdue game was the uh, the most comfortable that I felt this far. At what point did you tell Coach for the Purdue game that, that you were ready to go for that? After warmups, I think it was. I came up to him and told him I was I was ready to go. And is that I guess going forward is that how you're gonna do it? Will you go out warm up and then kind of always game time decision, or will you know I guess a little a little more beforehand going forward? Um, I would say it would probably be a game time decision. Yeah, for sure. You say soreness, are you talking just typical body soreness from not having played so long? How's the foot feel or the foot lower play? Um, you know, it's just soreness like with playing. You know, if you don't do something for six weeks, your body's going to be sore. Um, so I would say that would that would be the majority of the soreness. Curious, just the, along not only the spectator role, you know, on the bench during games, but more curious about your interaction being away. I mean, what, what was that like every day, day to day in practice, and maybe not able to participate? Just kind of, can you walk us through that? Yeah, you know, I was just trying to be um, an extra coach out there, extra set of eyes. You know, it's different um, hearing stuff coming from your coach, but hearing stuff coming from a fellow player on the team. So I just try to be that guy, you know, to keep the guys confident out there, um, tell them some things that maybe they didn't see, um, just help them apply to the games. How were they, I guess, being maybe the encouragement to get back? I mean, was there a sense of urgency with them where, like, they're like, hey, man, you really need to get back? What, what was that like? You know, they were uh, really supportive. Um, you know, they didn't want me coming out there before I was ready. Um, but at the same time, you know, they wanted me to come back when I was ready. So it was a balance. There's yeah, time for a couple more. Who's stepped on whatever player it was from Illinois? Like you said the foot, or rolled the ankle, whatever happened that, that caused this. I guess with, you know, you having had the procedures in the past and you having come back for the draft, or from, you know, by, uh, bypass the draft to come back, you know, a moment like that, how, how would you kind of describe that time and that thought of like, oh, oh no, you know, your future and all these things? Yeah, <clears throat> um, I think it was definitely a little scary when it happened. Um, it was a bang bang play, um, and I was, it was kind of sore, uh, you know, after the game and things like that. Um, but you know, God doesn't make mistakes, so I wasn't too worried about it. Just worried about how you know I could get better from it. So you no know, second guessing? No, not at all. Yeah, so I guess along Brendan's lines was a little bit. How are you looking at this as a critical stretch for your basketball career? I mean, this is you know these upcoming games and, and possible national tournament can really decide a lot for you. Is this something that you think about a lot? Um, I mean, for our team more than myself. You know, uh, we didn't we didn't make it to the tournament last year. Uh, that was a huge disappointment for us. Um, and we're right here this year. We got a couple games left. Big Ten tournament, um, so I think right now we control our own destiny. So I think that would be the biggest thing, biggest thing for me and my team as well. No. Now that so you came back, you know, skipped the NBA draft last year. Come back this year, you get injured. 
clearly your professional future is weighing on you. I mean, as it would anybody who's in your position, how much of a point of emphasis or topic of discussion was your future in the NBA? Talking about when you would come back or your timeline. I mean, it was a small percentage. You know, uh, like I said, I tried to um, focus on this year, focus on how I could get better. Um, I mean, I came back from my senior year to play, like to play in games. Um, so you know, I didn't really think too much. You know about what if or, or my future or anything like that. You know, it's just trying to get better each and every day and see what happens. Was there ever a low moment when you were sitting on the side not being able to play there, having to come back? Or I guess what was, was there the lowest point? Uh, I would probably say the, the Indiana Michigan State week. Um, you know, because I didn't get to play in those games last year, um, and that was a, that played a huge role in me coming back to school. So um, me not being able to play in those games, I hurt a little bit. Thank you, Jerry. Thanks.